baby beluga in the deep blue sea. Swim so wild and you swim so free. Hi everyone. Today's been a beautiful day. I got to go for a walk in the nature center. I hope that you got some exercise and have had a fun day. And I'm going to go back to a book that I've read from before. It's called Artist to Artist, and it tells about some famous artist. In this page, it tells about Robert Saberta and Matthew Reinhardt. And this is a pop-up that they did. And if you look inside, there you can see kind of a illustration of each of them now. And that's a picture of them when they were little. See? He was just seven, I believe it says. And Matthew, that was a picture of him when he was nine years old. So let me tell you a little bit about them. They create pop-ups. When I'm creating a pop-up, I try to think of how I can make it dance across the page. For me, that's what pop-ups are like. Dancers in a performance taking place between two pages. Making a pop-up book is different from making a picture book. I don't make a drawing of what I want the pop-up to look like. Instead, I use scissors right from the beginning, cutting and shaping the paper into a very simple pop-up. Over the next few weeks and months, I refine all of the pop-ups in the book, making sure they can be opened and closed time and time again. Even though pop-ups are fun, it doesn't mean they are easy to make. Many times the paper will not do what I want it to do, and I have to start all over again. But all of the hard work is worth it when someone opens the pop-up and exclaims, Wow! So it's just like this. When I opened this, I didn't know what to expect. And I went, Wow! Isn't that cool? And see, you can open it over and over and over again, and it still stays very sturdy and strong. This is what Matthew Reinhardt said. When I was a kid, an uncle of mine, a well-known painter who made giant paintings of ladies, told me that I couldn't be an artist until I was dead. I was too young to argue, but I knew he was totally wrong. Everyone starts out as an artist, free to create without limits or rules. But then as the years pass, most kids just stop. Only a few of us keep drawing or painting or building. I was one of those kids. My teacher, Mrs. Kennedy, used to call me doodles because I drew more than I wrote notes in my notebook. I couldn't stop it. Drawing was what I was meant to be doing. Also, her class was really boring. In art school, I thought I was meant to design toys, but I stumbled upon a talent for making pop-ups. A summer internship with Robert turned into my true artistic calling. When I started making painted papers and collage art, it was only natural since I was cutting up so much paper for pop-ups. Accident or fate, it became the way I like to make art, at least right now. To me, being an artist is a priceless gift that you are born with, and most importantly, you get to enjoy every day of your life. And these are just some pictures of what they look like now. This is Robert at work on a pop-up, and he did a book about the Wizard of Oz. And this is Matthew now, He's creating pop-ups at his desk. And together they worked on a dinosaur book. You can see some of the pictures there from it. And so this is them all grown up doing what they always have loved to do. So I thought that was really special. Let's take one more look at this pop-up and let's all say, wow, isn't that cool? I wish I could make a pop-up like that, and maybe you could try making something like that. Just keep working at it until you get it to work just like you picture it in your head. Now, another type of art is music, and Rafi is one of my favorite people who sings music and writes songs for children. That's a picture of Rafi. He's gotten a little older now and a little grayer, but this is a book that I've had for a long time. And this is one of my favorite songs, Baby Beluga. And so this isn't something that he draws, but he imagines the song and he's able to create the music. So it's a different type of art form. Baby Beluga in the deep blue sea, swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above and the sea 
below. A little white whale on the go. See him there? Baby beluga, baby beluga. Is the water warm? Is your mama home with you? So happy way down yonder where the dolphins play, where you dive and splash all day. Waves roll in, the waves roll out. See the water squirting out of your spout. Baby beluga, oh baby beluga. Sing your little song, sing for all your friends. We like to hear you. When it's dark, you're home and fed. Curl up snug in your water bed. Moon is shining and the stars are out. Good night, little whale, good night. Baby beluga, oh baby beluga. With tomorrow sun, another day's begun. You'll soon be waking. Baby beluga in the deep blue sea, you swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above and the sea below and a little white whale on the go. You're just a little white whale on the go. Baby beluga, what a special song by Raffi. And I want to sing two more. We're almost to the end of the alphabet in our song, Sing Along with the ABCs. And this is letter v, capital V, lowercase v, v, V. Vincent puts his violin underneath his chinny chin. Vincent plays it very loud. Vincent makes his Aunt V proud. Aunt V loves to hear him play. Vincent visits her each day. Did you hear some words that started with V? V? That's right, Vincent. <gasps> Violin, yes. What else? Oh, V, Aunt V, yes. Very loud. Very starts with V. <gasps> visits, that's right. Vincent visits her each day. Visit starts with V. Let's sing it one more time. Vincent puts his violin underneath his chinny chin. Vincent plays it very loud. Vincent makes his Aunt V proud. Aunt V loves to hear him play. Vincent visits her each day. What a nice nephew. And this is, that's right, W. Capital W, lowercase w. Wah, wah, w. And this is a song about Willie. Willie would not wear a hat, wear a hat, wear a hat. Willie would not wear a hat made his hair too flat. I wish you would, Aunt Wanda said. Wanda said, Wanda said. I wish you would, Aunt Wanda said, and plopped one on his head. Did you hear some words that started with wuh? Like in W? Willie? Oh, that's right. Would? Wear? Oh, wish? Wanda and Aunt Wanda. Yes, those are all words that start with W. So sing it along with me. Willie would not wear a hat, wear a hat, wear a hat. Willie would not wear a hat, it made his hair too flat. I wish you would, Aunt Wanda said. Wanda said, Wanda said, I wish you would, Aunt Wanda said and plopped one on his head. Oh, I like this book and all the songs that are in there. And before I say good night, let me see who's out there. <gasps> There's Amarin and Logan. Hi, boys. 
Oh, and there's Nathan and Shane and Ellery. Hi, kids. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Owen. Oh, there's Joanna. She looks like she's ready for bed. Hi, Abby. Hi, Megan. They're a little old, but they're still listening to Grandma. And there's Greg and Harper and some of my other friends. Hello, everybody. So I'm going to say good night now. Did you catch it? Oh, you missed it. Good night. I love you. Hey.